I have two identical websites hosted on two of the most popular web hosting solutions on the market right now, Bluehost and SiteGround. Representing Bluehost is their plus plan, coming in at $5.45 a month, and representing SiteGround is their grow big plan for $7.99 a month. In this video, I'll have a head-to-head -head battle between the two, all to answer the question, how many lions would it take to beat the sun? No, wait, that is actually very incorrect. What I meant to say is which web hosting company is better, Bluehost or SiteGround? The same exact website on Bluehost on average loaded in 2.9 seconds. To break it down, the server took 1.4 seconds to respond, after 2.5 seconds the site started showing images and after 2.9 seconds it was fully loaded. Google itself recommends websites to load in under 2 seconds for optimal results, so Bluehost kinda misses this mark by around 30%. SiteGround on the other hand loaded in 1.4 seconds. The server took just 0.3 seconds to respond. The site started showing images after 1 second and after 1.4 seconds it was fully loaded. Well, that was kinda easy, so SiteGround is 2 times faster as Bluehost and is probably objectively better. So everyone, go buy SiteGround, I'll see you in the next review. Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. Not quite though, because you see, I cheated on this test. Well, technically, SiteGround cheated. Let me explain. While SiteGround is faster than Bluehost, that's for a number of reasons. One, their wow. default WordPress installation isn't that default after all. You see, you get a specialized plugin for free called the SG Optimizer that automatically minimizes code and media files, it also caches your website. SiteGround is the first company that usually replaces their older technology in favor of the latest and greatest, no compromises there. That means SiteGround on average has much more software and hardware updates that make your website faster. And in general, Bluehost had their last performance update back in 2017, while SiteGround's latest upgrade was in 2021. However, while at least on paper, SiteGround does seem better than Bluehost in almost every aspect up to this point, Bluehost does have its advantages over SiteGround, most noticeably the price. Bluehost is a cheap, feature-filled web hosting provider that's tailored to beginners. By the way, if you plan on getting a web hosting provider, use the links in the description. As they apply discounts automatically, you'll always get the best price. As you can see here, it drops the Bluehost plans by quite a big chunk. I also get a cut of what you spend, this is how I keep YouTube my full-time job, so thank you for that opportunity, let's continue with this review. If you would buy the cheapest Bluehost plan for one year, it's $60 for the first year, using the discounts in the description of course, and for the second year it's uh, $120. In SiteGround's case, it's also $60 for the first year, but then it's $180 for the renewal. And this is with the summer sale that they have going on, which is happening while I'm filming this video. That makes a SiteGround at least 35% more expensive than Bluehost. And this is with their summer sale, on average it's even higher. But they are twice as fast. The question is, does speed really matter that much? Are you forced to pay more or else your website will just fail since it's slower? In my opinion, think about the kind of user that will be on your website. Will it bother them that your site loads one second slower? Will that make you lose sales and will that make people leave your website? If you only plan to have 10 people per week on your site or you're not selling anything, maybe the difference in speed is a non-issue for you. You gotta keep in mind that this isn't a battle of rich versus poor or cheap versus expensive. These are two very different products for different types of people. In my opinion, Bluehost works best for people that have no idea what they're doing. 
They just need a website, they want it cheap, and they want all of the professional features to manage their websites later down the line. Think of Bluehost as your first car. It's cheap, it's a bit rough around the edges, and sometimes you gotta fix it yourself. But it gets the job done most of the time. While SiteGround works much better for people that have some idea of what they want from their website. Since SiteGround is a managed service, they have a lot more features, there's just a lot more you can do with SiteGround than you can do with Bluehost. But if you're paying for all of those features and all of this really good infrastructure, you should have some idea of what you want to do with it. Discount links for both providers are in the description down below. But if you need more information, I have a full SiteGround and Bluehost review on my channel, as well as the detailed comparison I did last year. Anyways, if you want to chat with me live, come join me on my Discord server. But for now, my name is Emmett, you've just watched my SiteGround vs Bluehost review, and I'll see you in the next one. Come on, come on. Ah, I'm not really gone.